Hello ladies and gentlemen, thyroid examination. Usual business, decontaminate your hands, introduce yourself, confirm patient details, explain the procedure, and then go ahead and do the examination with consent of course. So here goes. Good afternoon, I'm Zahir Abbas, I'm your osteopath for the day. Uh, can I come confirm your full name and date of birth please? Johnny Smith, 25, second 98. And how old are you please Johnny? 21. Wonderful. Johnny, I'm going to carry out a thyroid examination. This means I'm going to be examining your thyroid gland, which is just in here in the front of your neck. And as well as that, I'm going to uh, have a feel around your neck and the associated structures. Would that be okay with you? Perfect, that's fine. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Johnny, do you have any pain or discomfort? Uh, no. Wonderful. No, and no. Uh, if you'd, uh, I'm going to start the examination. If you'd like for me to stop at any point, don't hesitate to ask. And we can do that, okay? Uh, what I will need to do as part of the procedure is we'll need to explore this part of your neck. That's fine. Uh, so if I can trouble you to remove your upper garment for me, please. You don't need to, but we can do that. Uh, would you like a chaperone in the room, John? No, I'm fine. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. So, with the observations, so we're going to make some observations. Yeah, you can go me, Johnny. I'm not going to speak for the sake of the examiners. So general observation, see if the patient is excessively or less alert than they should be otherwise. Are they fidgety? Is there a tremor? Have a look at the general uh, skin. Uh, is it flaky, is it dry, or is there excessive sweating? Johnny, I'm now going to take your pulse if I may, please. Yeah, Would that be okay? Lovely, yeah. and just relax yourself for me, please. And nice and floppy. Place your arm down if you will, Johnny. That's wonderful, thank you. Thank you very much, Johnny. Johnny has actually quite a, a low rhythm, so uh, your pulse rate was 60, uh, 64 beats per minute uh, in sinus rhythm, and the uh, character was normal, and it was of good volume. Uh, there was no signs of atrial fibrillation. I was looking for an irregularly irregular pulse. That would be indicative of hyperthyroidism. Going on to further observation, and now I'm going to look at Johnny's hair. Are they dry, brittle, coarse? or are there signs of alopecia, hair lossness. Then move down to the eyes, and looking for any infraorbital uh, edema or a conjunctival injection. Moving further onto the actual neck, and I'm looking for any scars or any signs of a goiter, any lumps in that region. If there was a scar, I'd ask Johnny what that scar was about. He may or may not be able to give me some information. What I'm contemplating is a thyroid lobectomy, in which case it's common for the parathyroid gland to be have, have been removed as well, one of the four parathyroid glands that are, and that would typically lead to hypocalcemia. And in this case, I would be expressing to the examiners that I may well uh, try to elicit the uh, Trousseau sign, or otherwise the Schwestock sign. Okay, uh, John, can I trouble you to bring your hand, arms out like your phone, please? Sure. I'm just going to place a, a piece of paper on your hands, okay? Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Lovely. Here I'm looking for a fine tremor, again indicative of hyperthyroidism. Can you just place your hands on your thighs for me, please, sir? Thank you. So I'm looking for thyroid acropagy, and I'm looking for onycholysis. Can you just turn your hands over for me, please, sir? I'm going to check the temperature. I'm looking for any palmar erythema, and then I'm looking for any excess of sweating. Lovely. Thank you very much, Johnny. That's wonderful. Uh, Johnny, can I now trouble you just to uh, stick your tongue out for me, please, sir? And back in. That's lovely. Uh, what I'm now going to do, Johnny, is I'm going to ask you to take a sip of this water. I want you to hold the water in your mouth and do not swallow until I say. Is that okay? Yeah. Lovely. So <coughs> take a sip. <coughs> take it. Take it. Just take it. Lovely. Just hold the water in your mouth. Looking straight ahead, please, Johnny. Okay, swallow if you will, please. That's genius. I'm looking for a, a the signs of a thyroglossal cyst in, in the two, uh, the protrusion of the tongue and the swallowing of the water. Johnny, I'm now going to uh, move my finger in a few directions. I'd like you to follow my finger, except I want you to do so without moving your head. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. So just follow my finger, if you will. Again, keeping your head nice and still. Lovely. So here I've done the H test. What I'm looking for, thank you, Johnny, is lid lag. Uh, again, looking at the eyes, you can look for lid retraction. Any signs of exophthalmos or any signs of anophthalmos, hyper and hypothyroidism, respectively. Uh, John, I'm now going to move around to the back. I'm going to uh, a, a. I'm going to feel your thyroid gland, 
and be, I'm going to feel all your lymph nodes. Is that okay with That's you? That's perfect, yeah. Okay, just before I do that, just look straight ahead for me, please, Johnny. So I'm looking from the sides here for any signs of proptosis. And now moving to the back, just move the chair forward slightly. That's lovely. Johnny, any neck pain at all? No, no, I'm fine. Lovely, just going to tilt your head back a little. So once again, signs of proptosis, I'm looking for the eyeball having moved further anterior from the uh, measuring it relative to the supra, uh, the supra orbital ridge. Uh, Johnny, I'm now going to feel for your thyroid gland, okay? okay? If it's uncomfortable, don't hesitate to say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we've got the larynx, we've got the laryngeal prominence inferior to that, we've got the cricothyroid membrane, and then just inferior to that, we've got the isthmus, the connecting point between the two lobes, the right lobe and the left lobe. Wonderful. Thank you, Johnny. There were no uh, palpable masses or lumps in the thyroid gland. Johnny, I'm now going to do your lymph, lymph nodes in the region. Is that okay? Yeah, Thank you. So we've done the lymphatic examination once before. We're just going to do the same thing again. So I've done the submental, submandibular, preauricular, postauricular, the occipital, the anterior cervical chain, the supraclavicular fossa, and the posterior cervical chain and that's wonderful again uh, typical with lymph nodes i'm looking for indication of tenderness or otherwise any tethering any shorty nodes any um, um any uh, malignancy any indication of malignancy or otherwise uh johnny i'm now going to feel your windpipe just in the region over here it sits just at the front over here i'm actually going to push through it might be a little uncomfortable again if it's too much please do say is that okay okay that's fine thank you and nice and relaxed nice and relaxed Lovely. And lovely. Give me a big deep breath in for me, please. And back out. Wonderful. So we look for tracheal deviation. Uh, if there was a goiter or if there was any uh, growth retrosternally, otherwise that could cause tracheal deviation. I also, while I was there, looking for tracheal tug. So I did a three finger test measuring the, the distance from the, uh, the, uh, crico uh, the cricosternal distance as well as the tracheal tug. Johnny, I'm now going to uh, palpate, like I'm actually going to percuss, so I'm going to tap on my fingers, but I'm going to place the fingers on there. Is that okay That's with you? Right. Do you mind if I just lower the sweater slightly? Right. Thank you. So here it goes. Lovely. Nice resonant sounds. What I was looking for was dullness in the region. If there was dullness in the region, that would imply uh, the implicit of a, a retrosternal uh, mass, be it goiter or otherwise. Uh, Johnny. Uh, what, I, uh, what I now need to do is I need to listen to your uh, thyroid gland. Is that okay with you? That's fine, yeah. Lovely. I'm just going to uh, get hold of the, uh, the, the uh, stethoscope. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, Barry. Uh, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so here what we're going to be listening for is breweries uh, in the thyroid gland. You could use the iPhone or the belt. Okay. Uh, Joey, I'm just going to listen to your crotchet glands while we're here. Wonderful. There were no signs of bruise. If there was a bruise in the thyroid gland, then I'd be uh, auscultating over the carotid. I did so without the, the fact that there was no brewer here. I still auscultated while I was in the region. If there was uh, a brewer in the uh, carotid artery uh, on the basis of a brewer in the thyroid, then I would go one step further and I'd, I'd, I'd actually have compressed in the supraclavicular region and then auscultate again to differentiate whether this is a venous hum or it's, an, it's actually a brewer in the carotid arteries. There were no brews on the thyroid, so that all aside. I still did the carotid artery. Why? Because if there was aortic stenosis, then that would radiate up into the um, uh, up into the carotids. Lovely, um, Joe. I'm now going to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Johnny, I'm now going to uh, do your reflexes. Uh, have you seen one of these before? Yes. So uh, just to remind yourself, it's a patella hammer. Uh, and what we do with this is I'm going to be striking the tendon in your arm over here, except I'm not going to strike your tendon directly, rather I'm going to strike my own thumb. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Are you in a pain or discomfort with the uh, no, shoulders, uh, with the uh, arm? 
Okay, and just relax yourself completely for me, please, Johnny. That's good. Lovely. And same again. Wonderful. Thank you, Johnny. And just to finish the um, the, the examination, Johnny, what I'm going to do is I just run, run my fingers on the front of your shins. Is that okay with you? Yeah. We will need to expose those if that's okay. It's fine. Wonderful. Johnny, that marks the end of the examination. Do you have any questions at all? No, that's totally fine. Lovely, thank you very much. Um, so, to report the findings, this was an unremarkable thyroid examination. Uh, there were no uh, lumps or bumps or any masses in the thyroid gland. There were no bruises on auscultation. Percussion was resonant. There were no signs of a retrosternal goiter or, or mass. And reflexes measured two out of four bilaterally in the upper extremities, all present and equal, and without reinforcement. Um, further investigations here, what I would propose is doing a blood test, measuring thyroid function tests, in particular your TSH and T4 levels, and then I would also uh, do a, um, an ultrasound on the thyroid gland. It, clinically, I could uh, further finish off by doing uh, DTR, so detailed reflexes on the lower extremities, I could do the ankle reflex to differentiate between hyper and hypothyroidism and I could also do the uh, Pemberton test in addition to that if there was a cyst, a thyroid loss of cyst or otherwise in the thyroid, I could also do the trans-elimination test. Thank you very much.